Hi, I'm Mary Wall from MediaKey.tv, and I'm here at the 2009 Cannes Advertising Festival, and I'm here with Terry Savage, the chairman of the festival. Hi, welcome. Hello there, how are you? Very well, thank you. Now, something that's on everyone's minds these days is the economic crisis, obviously, and how has that affected this edition of the Cannes Lion? Look, I think we're a reflection of the business, and the business is going through tough times, and accordingly, our delegate numbers are down. Um, but the most interesting point, even though our delegate numbers are down, in fact, 40% from an amazing record year last year, this is still the fifth biggest can in history. So in relative terms, uh, it's a still a very big event and a, and, and a very successful event. Well, is there anything that you could think of to say to advertisers around the world of what they can do during this hard time in, as far as advertising? I think what they should do is look at what work has won at Cannes this week. I think we've seen, for the first time at Cannes, a real shift to the digital executions and the digital world across all media. And I think it's a time that says, yes, the industry is getting it. And I think that should give a lot of confidence to the industry that this new world isn't a mystery, it isn't impossible to bridge. Uh, in fact, we are moving very quickly towards understanding, exploiting it at a creative level. Now, we've been lucky to have some amazing special guests this year. Would you like to tell us a little bit about how all of these special people made their way to Cannes? Uh, probably by plane, uh, but uh, uh, the, the, the great part about Cannes is that um, we provide the platform for the agencies and companies to, in fact, talk about or bring people uh, who are exceptional in the communications field. And people like David Palouf, we've got Kofi Annan, Bob Geldorf, Spike Lee, and right now we've got Roger Daltrey. But that's part of it, because that's the star quality. But the other very important thing about our seminar program, and we have 52 of them, is that there's deep meaningful insights into a lot of the lesser known uh, sort of uh, names, the people that are in the industry. And what's even more important is if you look at the seminars this week, they are crowded. People are going there, they understand the need to learn. So yes, we love to see Steve Ballmer on stage because he's famous, but we also like to really understand our business and people are working very hard to do that. Now, final question, what about the future of Cannes? Anything new that's coming, anything you want to add, anything that might be changing? Well, I think, as I said at the outset, we're a reflection of the business. So as the business changes, we have to change the festival to reflect that. And I think undoubtedly there will be changes next year. But we also have to be conscious as of the global festival and the world doesn't move at the same speed. So what might be happening in New York or London or Milan is not necessarily the same as happening in Bombay or Jakarta or Beijing. Uh, so yes, we will continue to evolve. Yes, we will uh, look at the nuances of the categories and uh, anything new that should be brought to, into line, we will do it. But with a very conscious mind that we follow the industry, we don't lead the industry. Uh, and uh, and as accordingly, we have to be mindful and careful uh, that what we do is a true reflection of the business. Well, thank you very much for your time during this very busy week. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure.